All right, here we are with uh, Vegas, Make It Big. Uh, this was originally uh, Vegas Tycoon. Uh, way back in 2004, I had the original um, when it first came out forever ago. Loved the game. And uh, when I saw that it was on Steam for, I think, 10 bucks uh, recently, I had to grab it. So I uh, had a lot of fun with this game. But now it's called Vegas, Make It Big. Uh, does is fully supported on um, on Steam on Windows 10, runs fine. Have not run into any problems so far. Um, not like a, a lot of the older games. Um, but I haven't gotten too far into the game yet. Uh, right now, what we're going to do is the um, campaign modes. Uh, has a bunch of them. Uh, I really haven't gone past the third one um, in 15 years. Uh, <laughs> um, so I'm not sure how far I'm going to get, how easy it's going to be. I do remember that they get harder the farther you go. Uh, but I'm going to start this one. Uh, is just going to be the initial tutorial uh, campaign, Welcome to the Strip. Uh, it is uh, just a lot of reading, a lot of text. Um, so there, there, there's not a lot of uh, to do. You can skip this one uh, and go right to King of the Hill uh, and, and pretty much figure out how it works. But uh, I wanted to go through the whole game. So we're going to go ahead and get started on Welcome to the Strip. And here we go. They start us right off with uh, some reading to do. So, This is Vegas. Make it big. Let's begin with a few tips to help you through the game's controls. At any time, you can view your objectives by clicking on the Objectives icon in the top left-hand panel. There we go. Uh, the I icon in this menu will give you further details uh, on individual tasks. Choose this panel by clicking uh, the Accept icon and use the Objectives menu to view your first objective. So we'll close here and check out our objective. And our objective is to buy our first lot. So click here and click on the lot. And to buy this lot, click the Buy icon in the panel below. going to start with the Gambler's Paradise. This is the uh, really cheesy starting uh, uh, casino, what you see on the outside of the strip, uh, the older casinos. So I think it's a good place to start in this tutorial. There we go. Well done, you bought your first lot. Now let's build a hotel for your guests. First select the lot, then click on the construction icon. Yeah, okay, so lot build infrastructure hotels staff and facilities and hotels and we can put it in our first small hotel and now uh, hotels are loud they cause a lot of noise so I like to keep them off to the side and uh, trees give beauty so we're going to steal some of their beauty here it is of vital importance that your guests can gain access to every building on your lot. This is just telling you you got to put a path to the casino. Build paths. Go. And, and there we go. Your first guest has arrived already. Uh, let's take a look at how this has affected your building. Select the hotel and click on the dollar icon to view the sales info. This panel shows the day's profits and losses and the amount currently charged per room. Uh, the people icon will give you information on, uh, on who likes your building and who has visited. It's important to keep track of who visits your buildings. You may be attracting the wrong type of guest. The graph icon allows you to access to historical information about the hotel. The info icon will have general information about the building. View the statistics for the hotel by selecting these icons. So the information and today's profits and people. And this does not give good information. Um, uh, 
believe these graphs will go up or down. Um, there'll be a little green bar, I think, going up, a little red bar going down uh, if families like it or don't like it. Um, hopefuls, tourists, gamblers, business people, VIPs, super VIPs, and specials. And I think these are like movie stars and things. Historical information. So this is how much the hotel costs. Uh, $660 per day to run. And so far we have made $50. So we are uh, not turning a profit yet. Let's see if we can profit. Yeah, and we're going down. Total number of visitors, uh, three. People? Yeah, okay, here we go. Families, tourists, hopefuls. Uh, reputation, pretty standard. Okay, this is a good time to experiment with the camera controls. Uh, click on your hotel to change to object view. Moving the mouse while holding down the right mouse button. Let's just move around a lot. Eventually, this will go away. There we go. Tree structure. Some building types cannot be constructed until you have built or upgraded others. If you try to construct a souvenir shop, you will find that it is dependent on a head office. Construct a head office to unlock this part of the tree. So yeah, you have to have certain buildings in order to build other ones. So infrastructure, offices, head office. And I like to put this in the back because it is loud, I believe. So hide that away. There we go. And have to give it a path. And make sure it's connected to the strip. Great, now select the head office and click the upgrade button. This will enable you to construct retail outlets, including the souvenir shop. Click here and the arrow upgrade. And they have an aquatics division, a retail division, and entertainment department. Let's get the retail. All right. You're about to upgrade head office three with retail division. This will cost $750. Yes. Now we can build the souvenir shop. And let's put this a little bit away from the main drag, make them walk up here. Over time, your structures will start to break down. This happens through age and usage. To maintain a good state of repair, structures need to be serviced by a mechanic. Go to the infrastructure maintenance staff area of the construction panel to place a mechanic's hut. Okay. And maintenance. Here we go. Mechanic's hut. And again, we're going to put this out of the way. And get a path. go. Uh, to get the mechanic to visit the hotel, you need to select the hotel and click the repair icon. There's nothing wrong with it right now, but call a mechanic. There we go. Different structures require different types of maintenance. You'll need an electrician to repair an arcade or cinema, for example. Build a cinema and an electrician's hut. here for to make people come up into our lot and we need a path there and we need to build an 
electrician's hut. Okay. I'm gonna put it right next to maintenance. There we go. Filters are a great way uh, to visual visualize the effect your lot has on your guests. Select the F view. There we go. There are four main filter modes. Select influences. Okay, and there are many options for viewing effectors. Okay, select noise. So that's the arcade is loud, and so is the electrician's hut in the maintenance. Yeah, mechanics hut produces a lot of noise. Quick to smell. Let's see. And they stink. And everything is ugly except for all the beauty I'm stealing from next door. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any highlights for beauty on your lot. That's a lie. Uh, let's build a tree. So. Right. And a tree. There we go. And that made that all pretty. Uh, if the beauty filter is still active, you should see a green glow around the tree. Let's go back to the filters view. There's more. All right, let's take a look at another filter type. Select objects and then state of repair. Objects, objects, and state of repair. And everything's good. Colors of the building uh, will now range from white through yellow to black. White building's in good state of repair. Yellow building, medium state, and a black building needs to be fixed now. Uh, it's a great way to get a quick idea of which buildings require a mechanic or electrician. It's about time we took a closer look at casinos. Now we gotta build our first casino. Place a small casino on your lot. Go. And put this next to the cinema. both ways. Uh, select the casino uh, you've just built and then click to enter the casino. I don't get to finish this path. can't finish the path yet. Enter the casino. Interiors function the same way as the exteriors. You'll need to create facilities, uh, employ staff, and place scenery to make your casino attractive to guests. Uh, interiors also have some unique features. Let's take a look. Let's place a slot machine. Perfect. Slot and video machines. There we go. And always put them right by the door so they see first thing they, they go to. There we go. Uh, slot machines will break down once they've filled up with coins. A cashier's assistant can be called to empty them. But first you'll need a cashier's desk. So let's place one. I try to put things, uh, maintenance and, and things like that in the back or in the corners. There we go. Cashier's desk. To get a cashier's assistant to empty a slot machine, select the slot you want to empty and click the repair icon. Slot machine and call cashier. And here she comes. Gaming tables like Blackjack come with a croupier. They also have betting options which can be adjusted. Place a Blackjack table. Okay. Let's put the Blackjack table. There we go. Put it in this corner here. Okay. Alright. So adjust the table settings. Select the blackjack table. In the finance section, uh, you will see two variables, bet range and house edge. Um, so bet range, you can raise the price, raise or lower the price. Adjust the, adjust the bet range to 10 to 25 and the house edge to high. So we'll cheat them out of their money. Bet range, 10 to 
25 high. And now we need to put in a security office. So that way people don't steal from our casino. Because we're supposed to be stealing from them. Go. Staff. Security. And we'll put it next to. Oops. There we go. The security officer can't watch the whole casino. By using a few filters, you can see where he can see. So. Security. So this is covered where he's at. Uh, green color represents the area of security. Okay. Uh, select and move him. So click on the guard and move. Uh, send staff member to another location. And we'll have him look over this one sad, lonely slot machine. Okay. Inside a casino, it's possible to raise and lower the floors. Okay. So let's go over here. Interior decor. All right, edit floor height. Raise the selected floor. So let's select this and raise it. And then place a staircase. Build stairs. There we go. Perfect. All right, there are many more building staff and decorations for you to discover. Spend some time exploring, and you'll soon be on your way to the top. So in the construction panel, you can view information about a building by right-clicking on its icon. To complete this level, you need to increase the number of visitors to your lot by 50. So now we're basically on our own. So let's um, just get this, uh, get people in here. So we need bathrooms. Go. In the mail restroom. There we go. And I want to put some slots up here where we um, built the floor up. And if you hold shift. You can place multiple slots. So we're just going to load this up and get some video poker. And a couple of keynotes. There we go. And now make sure you jack the rates, raise them up high. There we go. Got one on the high one now. All right. And now let's put in a couple more tables. Oh, we can't put any more tables down. We need a pit supervisor's office and a hospitality suite. So let's get that going. So staff. Hospitality suite, pit supervisor's office. So let's get this over here go hospitality suite there we go and I believe the hospitality suite you can um, comp comp rooms I think Hospitality suite. I could have sworn it was. Um, uh, click on the host. Okay. Nope. All right. Well, let's put down some more tables. Five card stud. Okay. And Texas Hold'em. Now we put the Texas Hold'em table right in the middle of our security guard. So let's uh, can't move him. <laughs> yeah, why don't you get out of the of the, of the table? Oh, I might have broken him. Yep. Oh well, he's stuck in the 
Oh. Scenario completed. You've successfully attracted an extra 50 visitors to your lot. So that is it. That is the end of this challenge. So uh, the scenario is now finished. Would you like to continue playing? So you can keep going, keep doing some other things. Um, let's exit out of here. We can see how well our casino is doing. Costing us 48.37 a day. Um, we've made 639 today, so it, it takes a while. Um, so we made a profit on the cinema. All right, um, that's nice. Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, today's income 416. Yeah, total cost to run 285. So that's turned a profit. And uh, 400 uh, per day made 216. So 660. Oh, we've made a ton on the hotel. So that's where all our money came from. But anyway, that's it. That is the first scenario. Like I said, it's just a tutorial uh, to walk around to, to learn the different things that you can do. Um, you actually can uh, go down to street level, which is nice. This is something that, uh, you know, for an old game, uh, they didn't really do this a lot in old games. Uh, this was the first one I'd ever noticed noticed it way back when uh, that you could do this and you can even pick uh, people and see what he's thinking um, each individual person so he looks sad and he wants to gamble so not good in, in Vegas to be sad and gambling but anyway that is the first scenario and we will keep going keep doing the rest of them thank you guys for watching